Hey, everybody, this is Marcellus Troy Alexander, Inspiration with Troy Alexander Live. I'm so excited tonight. We have an amazing guest, young lady tonight. But before we get to her, listen, you know what my motto is, dream, take that step and walk the purpose into your destiny tonight. Listen, I'm so excited to stay connected with us. Every week we bring people on to encourage you to hold on to your dream and go get your dream. So listen, we're on Facebook, Troy Alexander. We're on Instagram at Pick by Design. I love taking photos at Pick by Design. We're on, my goodness, YouTube, Inspiration with Troy Alexander. And listen, follow our nonprofit. It is called to inspire.org. Called to inspire.org. Want to encourage you. Listen, we wrote a book of poetry called Poem, Inspiring Dreams, Purpose, and Destiny. You can get it on Amazon.com. My goodness, Marcellus Troy Alexander Poem, Inspiring Dreams, Purpose, and Destiny. And it's also the link at call to inspire.org. Tonight we have a phenomenal young lady, everybody. I'm so excited to have her on our broadcast. Listen, she is the 2021, 2022 National American Miss Junior Preteen. She is the 2021 Miss Wisconsin Junior Preteen and the 2019 Miss Wisconsin Princeton. Not only that, everybody, but in 2020, she won the coveted face of Ashley Renee Style Award and first runner up up to All-American Crown. Listen, and then in 2019, she won the National Spokes Model, National Fashion Model, National Runway Model. I'm not finished, y'all. The National Fashion Model, the National Photogenic. Not only that, but she's a model. She's modeled for Ashley Lauren, as well as a published author and more. Let's welcome Adriana Artis. How are you, Adriana? I'm great. Oh, my goodness. Listen, it is so wonderful to have you on our broadcast tonight. I'm just honored to have you. So I want to talk about pageantry at first. So do you remember what age you were when you began pageantry? I believe I was four or five years old. Four or five years old. And you're currently eight years of age, right? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, everybody, I, I know it's hard to believe, but she's really only eight. <laughs> All those wonderful achievements. I'm so proud of you, Adriana. I am so proud of who you are. Uh, I want to ask you, what do you love most about pageants? That would definitely be um, the finale because it's always so exciting of who wins. And even if I don't win, I would just congratulate the winner and, and be proud for how how far I've got. Wow, that's amazing. So now I gotta ask you now, you've you've won a lot of awards. And so what is what are you thinking in that moment? Like before they call the last name, tell me like what are you thinking? Like what are you what goes through your mind? Like what are you thinking at that time? Well, I'm thinking about who it's gonna be or um <laughs> how <laughs> <laughs> like well um when they do the rewards we're in a line so we'd know who who wins the award or who's a runner up to a reward right wow wow listen do you ever get nervous at all going on stage not at all <laughs> wow so you don't get nervous nope wow that's listen i, I would have you have you always been so confident? Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Wow. Listen, you have won so many awards. I mean, uh, beginning in like, I, probably be prior to that, but I'm like going back to 2018. You've won a, an award every single year. What does that feel like? It feels pretty good to get like an award every year. At least, at least one. Wow. Yes. I mean, you've won like, again, national photogenic, national spokes. I like, I'm like, what, like, what haven't you won? It's amazing. I, listen, you are just so awesome and amazing. Um, I'm so proud of you. Now, I got to ask you now, listen, what, when you go on stage, right, um, and you go before the judges, what, what do you want the judges to see about you? Like, what do you want them to think about you as you're walking across your stage in your gown? What do you hope that they see in you? I definitely hope that they see that I that I am very confident because I 
Oh, he's in. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, you are so um, like like so gifted and talented. Like, have you always been so outspoken and 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 so excited and just so joyous? Yeah, I'm do I'm deaf to everything. Yeah. I can tell, I know, I can tell. Listen, so so tell me this. How do listen, so so tell me this. How do you prepare for a pageant? Like, like, tell me, like, are you practicing every day or like once a week, every hour, a couple of hours? Tell me how you practice for a pageant or get ready for a pageant. Um, at home before the pageant, we usually practice every day for one hour. And we practice all we practice all the optionals except for spokesmodel because that's what I did this year when um at the nationals pageant. Wow, so you practice at least an hour a day? Sometimes wow. even more. More wow. So so is practice fun to you or or not so fun? Some things that we practice <laughs> are really fun, some things are not so fun, and sometimes and some and some things aren't fun. Right. No, and I hear that. But listen, somehow you you come out of your practices and you go on that stage and you just like win. <laughs> it's amazing. So I, it's so awesome. I'm so proud of you. You're just an amazing young lady. And I know that there is more for you, Adriana. And so listen, I want to ask you, um, for young girls who might want to go into pageantry. What advice or, or what would you say to them to encourage them um, as they're getting ready to go into pageantry? Well, just keep up. Keep up. You can do it. Follow your dreams. Go for it. And um, uh, follow the advice that people have, have already gone through, that thing that you're trying to get to, either a job or a pageant or anything else that you want to get to. That was awesome. That was phenomenal, Rihanna. And so listen, what 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 does it feel like when you put on that sash and crown? Tell me the feeling that you get when they put that crown on you. It feels really good because when I won this nationals pageant, that, that was my third year and I finally did it. And it felt like really good. Awesome. Awesome. And what's the first thing you did when you got home or or after the pageant was over, do you remember what the first thing you did? Um, since it was pretty late, I went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> listen, everybody, she is, yes, she is that amazing. She is that, listen, I just went to sleep. I love that about you because you're so real. Like, like, you're just so, oh my goodness, amazing. So I got to ask you, not only have you done the pageantry, but you're a model as well. I, and and I've seen your videos. I mean, you're an amazing model. Like, like, did you go to class to to learn how to pose or how to go in front of a camera? Like, how did you learn how to do that? My mom taught me. Wow. Well, applaud to your mom. She is amazing. And so, you feel very comfortable, like in front of the camera, don't you? Yeah, because I'm pretty used to this. Uh, listen, everybody. I I because of I'm all like, the ahead. Zoom meetings and school. So I'm pretty used to it. Listen, everybody, she's used to it at eight years of age. I love it about you, Adriana. I, I, I got to ask you this. I, I went on your, um, your Instagram pages, right? And, and I saw so many wonderful posts that you've done and so forth. But I saw this, this as part of one of your headings. And it said that when I grow up, I want to be happy. I was like, wow. So tell me, like, if you remember that, why why did you want to say that when I grow up, I want to be happy? Why did you want to say that? I definitely want to say that because every day I do want to be happy. But every day, sometimes I'm not happy. But most of the time, I'm very happy. And and I'd really like to be happy, like, all of the time, like, every single second. <laughs> wow. Listen, I, 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 listen, I'm... I'm watching you, right? And I'm hearing you and you're so, you have this amazing smile and this amazing joy about you. Listen, everybody, I told you before the broadcast, like if there's a national smile award, she's got it. <laughs> she has this awesome and amazing smile. So listen, do you want to become like this top model in the world? Like, is that a goal of yours? Like, would you want to be like America's top model in the world? 
it wouldn't really be a motto that I want that I really want to be. My goal is to be Miss Universe someday, just like my idol, former Miss Universe Ketchiana Gray, because well, that would be like off like all those years. <laughs> wow. So your goal is to be Miss Universe. Yeah. Wow. Listen, everybody, I just want you to mark this day. This is December 13th, 2021. And I'm going to play this. I'm going to have her back on the broadcast, right? When she is Miss Universe. I'm telling you, I'm going to give you your applause now. <laughs> because I have no doubt that you are going to be Miss Universe. Um, and I, listen, to have you come back, I hope you come back and do our show. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, I hope you do because you're going to be wanting like on this station and that station, everybody's going to want to interview you. And I hope you have time to come back and do our broadcast as well. Again, so, so proud of you. Did you watch, did you see the Miss Universe on last night? Yeah, um, it was India. Yes, I know. Wasn't it amazing? Yeah. And I was very surprised that second runner up was South America because she, she, because she was pretty good. I was expecting her to to at least be first runner up. Right. Yeah, me too, right? I, I, I think it was South Africa, right? Or South America, South Africa. Yeah. But, but yeah, yes. amazing. Yeah, me too. I thought so too, Avery. I, I thought her, her answer to the question was amazing, like, like the last question. And and I thought, yeah, I'm agreeing with you. You're you're awesome. Listen, I think you're going to be a judge too because you're a good judge of character. Oh, my goodness. So listen, so tell me this. Not only, everybody, is she this amazing uh, queen. Not only is she this amazing model, not only is she going to be Miss Universe, but she's going to be a airline captain. Now tell me this, Adriana, what, how, how did this goal of wanting to be not only an airline, just not pilot or co-pilot, you want to be captain. Tell me, how, how did this come about? Well, my dad was an was an airline pilot before, and yeah. once he let me fly with my half brother, and when I was flying, I was going up, and then I was going down, and I was going up, and then I was going down. My brother was with me too, and he was like, "Katie, don't do that!" And I was having so much fun. But when my brother was flying, he was very serious, like pretty scared, and that's why I want to be um, an airline captain and an a Miss Universe at the same time because flying is really fun to me. Wow. Now wait a minute, Adriana. I'm gonna have to talk to your dad. But anyway, what 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 age are you flying? Like age eight or seven or six or or four or three? What what age are you flying? Um, I was flying. I was flying. I was like in the middle of eight, but now I'm late eight, so. Wow. So you were like middle eight and you were flying with your dad and your brother? Yeah. Wow. That is amazing. So guess what? Not only are you going to be Miss Universe, right? Um, but you're going to fly all the contestants. You're going to be the pilot to fly all of them like on the cruise or wherever they go afterwards. Listen, that will be a first. I think they will never have seen a Miss Universe actually be a, a captain of, of a plane, a pilot, and fly the contestants to their next. Listen, that's amazing. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's going to be super amazing, um, Aviana. And so, listen, not only that, everybody. Listen, I'm not done yet. She's eight, but there's more. I went onto YouTube, and I saw these videos of you giving tips on how to do introduction, how to do this, how to do that. When did that, how did that come about? Um, I was about probably um, middle seven when I did that or very, or very early eight because um, we wanted to continue, but we, but we were very busy and I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> well, listen, you're a very busy queen. So, so I can understand. Um, you know, taking a pause because but I'm watching this video of you on YouTube talking about tips, right? For children for, for, for kids who want to do better at introduction. And I'm saying, wow. And then you showed your introduction on stage, right? And 
it was to me, it was so long. How, how do you memorize that long speech? Well, I usually memorize speeches in like because really? um once I was I was gonna be on Zoom for this crest commercial and but we but we didn't do it because it was a lot of money, but because we could do <laughs> something else. And that would be a little bit better. And um, there w we had to memorize something. And this was the speech. I kind of forgot it, but it was a pretty short speech. It was like probably three lines. And I memorized it in probably one minute. Hey, Rihanna, listen. It might have been short to you, but when I saw it, I'm like, how is she memorizing all of these words? And you were so clear, you were so good. And then you're doing these videos about, you know, don't pull the microphone over your mouth, right? Bring it down below and all of these things. I mean, do you want to do classes? Like, do you want to actually teach like actual classes in terms of pageantry? Well, maybe not because I'm not very into teachers, like into teaching. Right, but... right, right. right. But it would be very nice to give some girls some advice what to do to help. Wow. I, I mean, you are so, like, you know what you want to do at age eight. Listen, there are people who are like 20 and 30 and 40 and 50 who don't know what they want to do. But you at age eight, like, I mean, you are so clear about what it is. And I love that about you. So it's amazing. And listen, so... Since you can memorize things like, like that, right? Like that. So since you can do that, do you ever want to be an actress? Because you are so, like your expressions, you're so talented. Have you thought about acting? Yeah, I have thought about acting a lot because that was what we wanted to do with the Crest commercial because we were going to be on Zoom with people and then I would do my Crest commercial. and. Um, I really, I really like acting because my mom says that I can go cry, and then I can go happy right at the, right at the same time, like right. <laughs> like that. Listen, y'all, that's gonna be a little bit like that, right? So now, Aviana, tell me, um, you can cry, like, like if you want to cry, like you can cry, like, like tears. Yes. Wow. Oh my goodness. Listen. I, 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 now, now, well, I'm not able to do that. Like I gotta, like it takes me a while to, to really cry, right? To, to, for tears to come out, but you can do it like that. Wow, wow, that's, that's, well, listen, I, I hope you do go into, in, into acting because you are so good. And I can see you like on the movie screen. Like I wanna go to the movies and see you on the big screen, right? Okay, is that okay? Is that good? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I love that, I love it. So listen, I gotta ask you this. Um, not only that, listen, I'm not done everybody. Um, not only is she a pageant queen, she's a model. I mean, this amazing model. I said before, she's doing YouTube videos or have done them. Um, and, and she's gonna be Miss Universe. She's flown planes at the age of eight. She's gonna become an airline captain pilot, a, a captain uh, to fly planes. But not only that, there's more. Yes, there's more. She also is an author. My goodness, you have written a book. And I'm going to listen. It's called Cow the Mighty Tiny Gorilla. Yes. And listen, oh my goodness. When, when did, how did you know you wanted to write a book? Like, how did that happen? Well, it just sounded like really fun to do, like a cool experiment. Like, um, because like I said, my favorite, um, my favorite subject in school is writing class where we can make up stories. And I really love doing that. Wow, wow, listen, I, I you know, and she began to tell me everybody uh, before the broadcast about this book, right? Um, and it's about your brother, right, Cal? Yeah. Yep. Brother Cal, yeah, so I don't wanna give it away because I want people to buy the book, right? Right, so listen everybody, I got, so I'm going to surprise you, Adriana. Look what I got. You got I, it? I got your book. 
So everybody, I bought this book on Amazon. I've read the book. It is amazing. I don't want to give the I don't want to give it away because I want you to buy it. So I want you to go on Amazon. It's called again Cal the Mighty Tiny Gorilla. And it's by Kate Artis. And I'm telling you, listen, you open up this book and you see this amazing young lady right here. My goodness. Uh, and just awesome and amazing. Um, and then you go to the back of the book and there she is again. She is an author at the age of eight. I am so, so proud of you, Adriana. And listen, um, do you plan on writing any more books? Well, I think that we're going to make a series on that. My mom thought of making like more things about Cal, but I saw about making our whole family like like Steve, the like Steve, the the old but mighty gorilla, like because we included the family in our book. If you read it, then you then you'd already know that. I and I want to do it like Kingston, the Mighty T Gorilla, and maybe we can even talk about me in there, even though we're already doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Listen, I can't wait to buy more of your books. You are just a, a phenomenal author. I love reading it. I love the uh, pictures. I love the story. How, why, why? You seem to want to inspire people, right? To believe and go for their dreams. Like, how did you, like, how did you become the amazing you? Like, I'm just, I'm trying to figure out, like, like, was it your mom, your dad, your family, the people? That, like, how did you become so amazing? It would definitely be my whole family because my dad, he, um, he's very silly and he makes me laugh all the time. So that's where I get all my silliness from. And my mom, she helps, she encourages me to be more confident the way I go and doing all that and my even though my little brother you know my big brother is pretty irritating I still love him so much because I wouldn't have the experience to have a brother if I didn't have any and my little brother he is super cute and I don't know what I got from him <laughs> everybody listen I'm telling you you have to you have to applaud this amazing young lady you are just so real and so amazing and I love that about you Adriana listen um how do you stay so positive? I mean, you are just such a positive young lady. Um, and and it's how, how do you stay so positive? Well, my mom said, so I have this game called Roblox and you can get Robux on it, but Robux is not very free. And my mom said, if you can be positive for the whole day, then I will buy you Robux. So of course I do that every day, <laughs> but she didn't give me Robux. <laughs> wow. Oh my, listen, well, listen. All I know is you are so positive. You are a light of inspiration. You are a joy. You are a queen. You are a princess. You are just Miss Universe. You are just an amazing person. And I'm so proud of you. Listen, is there more you want to share with us? Like, is there more you want to share about pageantry or about modeling or about your books or about, is there more you want to share with us that I haven't asked you as of yet? I don't think so. I think I think I'm I think I'm good. All right. Well, listen. Where can we find you? Because I know you're on Instagram, right? You're on different platforms. So, do you know your your um Instagram titles and headings? But I guess if you search for Adriana Artist, right, then it all come up. Is that yeah. cool? But oh. I think my mom would know that. <laughs> well, listen, everybody. I if a mom wants to come on, she can or or talk. But listen. If you Google or if you Instagram search or if you go, Adriana Artist, she is everywhere. Like you got like three Instagram pages, Adriana. You're so awesome and amazing. I'm so proud of you. Um, is there anyone that you want to give a shout out to or a thank you to? I know you mentioned your mom, your dad, your family, your brother. Is there anyone else that you want to give a thank you to that has helped you uh, thus far? think so but the way i spell my name is a v r i a n n a a r t u s you said it y'all aviana artist so listen again we want to thank you aviana so much for being an amazing guest i want to just give you a bio one more time is that okay you're you're down is that okay all right so listen before i let you go again she is the 2021 2021 
2021-2022 National American Miss Junior Preteen. She is the 2020, yes, show that banner. <laughs> She's the 2021 Miss Wisconsin Junior Preteen, the 2019 Miss Wisconsin Princess. Show that crown, Aviana. That's right. Go ahead, girl. She's also the 2020 won the coveted face of Ashley Renee Style Award. First runner up to the All-American crown. Where that crown, Princess? Listen, she also in 2019 won the National Spokesmodel Award, the National Fashion Model Award, the National Runway Model Award, the National Fashion Model, and the National Photogenic. She, it, she models for also Ashley Lauren. She's an author and more. She's about to become Miss Universe, well, in a couple of years, but Miss Universe, she is already, already flying, going to be that airline pilot captain and more and more. Thank you, Adriana. Do you want to have any last words before I let you go? Well, I just, I just say have a great night. Well, it's night for us, but if it's, but if it's day for you, then I'd say have a great day, afternoon or morning. And do good. There she is, everybody. Adriana Artist, make sure you follow her. Connect with now, Adriana, before I let you go, um, whatever I can do to support you in anything that you're doing, don't you hesitate to ask me, okay? Yeah. I got you. And if you're ever in New Jersey or New York or Philadelphia, or close by where I am, I would love to do a photo shoot with you. You're just that amazing. That'd be okay? Yeah. Thumbs up. All right. And listen, listen, one more thing. When you become this amazing actress and when you win the Miss Universe or you go on the red carpet, I want to be there as much as I can to take your photo and take your picture. Is that okay, too? Yeah. All right. Everybody, thank you so much for joining us. This is Inspiration with Troy Alexander Live. I'm so grateful to have this amazing young lady, Adriana Artist, on our broadcast. Follow her. She is a queen. She is a, a wonderful, amazing young lady. Thank you, Adriana. Stay connected with us, everybody. Our motto is dream. Take that step and walk with purpose into your destiny. Every Monday night, we are here with an amazing guest to encourage you to go get your dream. Thank you, Adriana. Have a good night, everyone.